Hi everyone, this is Mr. Delicious once again. We are now into uh, a grade 12 advanced mathematics uh, video tutorial and coaching for the grade 12 advanced mathematics stream students. And we have just presented to you the part A of the paper 1, uh, exa past exam paper year 2010. So now we are moving to the part B of paper 1. Past exam paper 2010. And this uh, part, part B from question 9 to 17 is worth uh, two marks in the national exam. So that means that you have to work it out really well in order for you to get the correct answer. Okay, so let's move on to question number 9. I'll erase this one. Okay, so question number 9, uh, part the first question of part B, paper one, past exam paper, year 2010, and it is worth two marks. So when it is worth two marks, grade 12, means that you ha uh, the, before you get the final answer, there is still another uh, working out that you have to, uh, to do in order for you to uh, get the final and correct answer. Okay, so for question number nine, this is the question for question number nine. Still, the question number nine is fine. Uh, this is on uh, trigonometric ratios. Okay, the trigonometric ratios. So find the exact value of sine two theta equals two sine theta cosine theta, given that the cosine theta is equal to two over three such that theta is greater than zero, but less than pi over two. Okay, so when it comes to exact, meaning that uh, you have to uh, draw first the uh, right angle triangle. Okay, when it comes to trigonometric ratio, it's on the uh, uh, right angle triangle. So you have to remember the Pythag Pythagoras theorem so you can apply the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so we have our clue here is cosine theta is equal to 2 over 3. So remember cosine is cosine theta is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So let's draw a right angle triangle. This one here. This is a right angle triangle. If the theta, if the angle theta is here, then theta cosine theta is equal to adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So the adjacent of this angle is this one, which has a value of 2. And then the hypotenuse has a value of 3. This is our hypotenuse. So, we don't have the value of this side here of the right angle triangle. We, can, we cannot answer the question on finding the exact value of sine 2 theta equals 2 sine theta cosine theta if we, don't, if we cannot complete the, the, the side's uh, measurement of the right angle triangle. So, let's find it first. Find the x. So, apply... Apply Pythagoras theorem or Pythagorean theorem, which is c square equals a square plus b square. Our c is given, which is 3, so that's 3 square equals our a is unknown, x square plus our b is 2 square 2. Okay, so we collect like terms, this will become 3 square. Uh, transpose positive 2 square to the other side that would be now minus 2 square equals x square the square of 3 is 9 minus the square of 2 is uh, 4 equals x square 9 minus 4 is 5 equals x square okay therefore uh, x is equal to the square root of 5. So this value here, this one, 
the value here is uh, square root of 5. Okay? So now we got the side now of, we have completed now the uh, three sides of the right angle triangle. From there, so this one is going to be one mark. So if this question number nine is worth two marks, getting this answer will get you one mark. And then finally, finally our answer here, finally our answer now is from the given sine 2 theta, sine 2 theta is equal to 2 sine uh, theta cosine theta. So the operation here is 2 times sine theta times cosine theta. So this is the expression. This is the complex ones. So we have to work it out. What would be the value of sine 2 theta? The exact value of sine 2 theta. So this will become now 2 times sine theta. So this is 1. Sine theta, this one here, sine theta is equal to opposite divided by hypotenuse. The value of the opposite side of this theta is square root 5, square root 5 all over 3, multiplied by cosine theta. If this is the cosine theta, cosine is adjacent divided by hypotenuse. So the adjacent side is 2 divided by hypotenuse, 3. So 2 divided by 3. Okay? So now our values, you're going to multiply this. 2 times 2. That will become 4 square root of 5 because you cannot uh, uh, multiply 2 and then square root. So you multiply 2 times 2 equals 4. All over, this one is understood to have a denominator of 1. 1 times 3 is 3. 3 times na, uh, 3 is 9. So... The final answer now, therefore, the final answer, sine 2 theta is equal to 4 root 5 all over 9. This is the final and correct answer for question number 9. Okay? So that's for question number 9. And this is the uh, exact when you say exact, you're not going to give a decimal answer. It should be an exact value. And so the value, therefore, for the question, for the question, find the exact value of sine 2 theta with the expression 2 sine theta cosine theta, given that cosine theta is 2 over 3. So there are two working out here. That's why it's worth two marks. One is to find the side of the right angle triangle. X equals root 5 or square root of 5. And then from there, you substitute that one to the expression to get the value of the exact value of sine 2 theta, which is or has the value of 4 root 5 over 9. You get it now, grade 12? Okay. Grade 12 advanced mathematics students, I hope that you are getting it right now this time. So this uh, video tutorial is uh, now for the grade 12 advanced mathematics stream students. And I hope that uh, you just you watch this one as your guide for you to, uh, you know, prepare for the national. So don't be overconfident uh, advanced mathematics stream students, okay? It's best for you to uh, humble yourself and... Uh, have a look at this one more time because the more you view it, the more you remember. Okay? So this is Mr. Delicious. If you have not subscribed my YouTube channel yet, please do subscribe my YouTube channel because every, well, every time I upload a video tutorial or any uh, videos, uh, you will always be notified. Okay? 
subscribe and watch all my video tutorial and tell all your brothers and sisters to be part of this free mathematics video tutorial done by Mr. Delicious, the Filipino traveling tutor and coach, a Filipino teacher here in Papua New Guinea. Okay, so this is Mr. Delicious signing off now and bye for now and tata.